Alright, this is going to be a quick video on how to paint your uh, fender flares with a bed liner using this Duplicolor bed armor. This stuff is a lot better and this shit is garbage. I already did the fronts. As you can see there's a very, really nice texture on these. Um, it's going to hold up to rocks and all that crap. The rear. See it's all faded and shit. The sun's really bright so now good you can see it but they're really faded. Start off by removing the fronts are way easier. Uh, the rear. You gotta take this liner out of the back and there's some of these uh, like Christmas tree clips holding it in. But once you do that, there's a bunch of bolts. They have these little things on the back. You have to hold them while you undo these. And uh, then you'll have this off. Use 320 grit sandpaper to sand down just to rough it up so the primer has something to stick to. I'm cheap and I don't even use primer. I just use this old uh, camouflage paint that I have from another truck I was doing. So primer it with this. Now once you've hit it with primer, let it dry. And I use two coats of primer on it. Or uh, the camouflage flat black paint. And then you can start doing the bed liner. Once the first coat's done, you might be thinking, man, it looks like shit. But just wait for it to dry because you're going to do about three coats and it'll look a heck of a lot better. I'm going to make a suggestion also. To make this way easier, get an 8mm gear wrench from Lowe's or Advance Auto Parts or something. Um, using a normal ratchet is extremely hard. Um, using just this, uh, I mean it's not hard, but it takes a lot longer. You get one of these 8mm gear wrenches, it'll make your life a lot easier when you're taking these out. Just got the other one all sanded up, so I'm going to use some of this auto glass cleaner just to spray it down to get all the dust off of it. And uh, it's worked great for me so far. Just primer the second rear one. And the first rear one is drying right now. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this. It's got a really nice texture to it. Nice and even all the way around. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then set it in the garage so it can finish drying. Alright, now they're all done. That one's still drying just a tad bit. But uh, this one is completely dry as you can see. Real nice texture. All even, all the way around. This one is as well. Um, if it looks like there's lines in it with the first coat or two, don't let it discourage you. That's all. I mean, let do a couple coats and you'll realize it's going to come out real nice. So, I'm going to toss that some bitch back on that side right there. And I'll uh, have one more video once uh, it's all on there and everything. Alright, now for the finished product. This one I'm letting cure just a little bit. This will give you an idea of what it looks like. I don't know how good lighting is out here because it's so damn bright. But uh, there it is. You can see uh, it's got a real nice texture all around it. Uh, I got everything back together. It's pretty simple. Uh, I guess I gotta adjust that fucking fender liner shit again. But uh, it's on there. Looks so much better than it did. Um, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money on some aftermarket fender flares. Uh, because I still got some other things I want to do this thing before I spend money on that. Anyways, hope this video helped you out. I'm gonna be have I'm I'm gonna be making a lot more Jeep videos. Uh, this is my new project I got myself. Uh, it's one of the most fun vehicles I've ever driven. Uh, aftermarket parts are unlimited on what you could do to these things. Um, I'll do a review on this Jeep later on too. I've already uh. It came with a Smitty built tubular bumper that I didn't like, so I traded a guy for uh, this factory bumper with the factory fog lights. Put them KC lights on there, uh, which are fucking bright. I'll do a video on that later too. It had a factory hard, or not a factory hard top, but it had a hard top on there. It was a steel horse and it was junk, so I traded it straight up for a um, Smitty built uh, frameless hard top, which I mean, it's gotten mixed reviews. To me, it fit perfectly fine. There's no, not a lot of wind noise. I used the AC the other day because it was like 80 degrees. Perfect condition. Uh, you know, it, it reminds me just of having a hard top. It's just a lot easier to remove uh, the windows if I wanted to go topless on it. 
Um, it's just, I don't know, I, I like the look of the soft top a lot better. Um, I gotta paint those doors. Anywho, this was uh, the how-to on the uh, painting fender flare with some bed liner. Uh, the only tools you really needed was the 320 grit sandpaper, uh, the Rust-Oleum camouflage shit right here for some primer. I had it sitting around. You could probably use anything for primer, really. And then the uh, Dupacolor bed armor. So, uh, if this video helped you out in any way, like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos, gun reviews, Jeep shit, um, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.